Hello, my name is Leticia Pizzino, and I'm going to tell you an English folktale, Fox's Sack. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a fox. He was walking down the road carrying an empty sack. He was looking for something for dinner. So he kept on walking until he heard a sound. It was a bumblebee. So quickly he caught it and put it in his sack, tied up the end and threw it over his shoulder, went down the road singing, something's in my sack. I know what's in my sack. I carry on my back. And he kept walking when he came to a house and he stopped. A woman answered the door. I'm going to my friend Squintum's house. I shan't be gone long. Do you mind if I leave my sack here? No, said the woman. You can leave it here. But, warned the fox, whatever you do, don't look in my sack. I won't, said the lady. And off went the fox singing. Something's in my sack. I know what's in my sack. I carry on my back. The lady looked at the sack. What kind of something looked like nothing? She was so curious, she decided to open it just a little bit to take a peek, but a little bit was enough for the bumblebee to escape. It got away and went out into the barnyard where her chicken was. The chicken saw the bumblebee and ate it. that the sack was empty. He said, where's my bee? I'm sorry, said the woman. My chicken ate your bee. Well, if your chicken ate my bee, said the fox, I get your chicken. He grabbed the chicken, put it in the sack, threw it over his shoulder, and went down the road. Something's in my sack. I know it's in my sack. I carry on my back. He kept on walking until he came to another house. A woman answered the door and the fox said, I'm going to my friend Squintum's house. I shan't be gone long. Do you mind if I leave my sack here? No, I don't mind, said the woman. But whatever you do, don't look in my sack. I won't, said the woman. And off went the fox. Something's in my sack. I know what's in my sack. I carry on my back. The woman looked at the sack and it was moving around. Something was in there and she was curious, so she opened it and out came the chicken. And the chicken flew out the door where her pig was grunting around and that pig squealed, wee! And that frightened the chicken, and the chicken fluttered down the road. <laughs> came back and he said, where's my chicken? And the lady, the woman said, I'm sorry, but I looked and the chicken got away from me and my pig scared it down the road. Well, if your pig scared away my chicken, I get your pig. He grabbed that pig, threw it in the sack, put it over his shoulder and went down the road. Something's in my sack. Now I know it's in my sack. I carry on my back. He went down the road, kept going, till he came to another house where he stopped. A woman answered the door. I'm going to my friend Squintum's house. I shan't be gone long. Do you mind if I leave my sack here? No, I don't mind. But whatever you do, don't look in my sack. I won't promise the woman. And off went the fox. Something's in my sack. I know it's in my sack. I carry on my back. The woman, she went back to cleaning her house. She was sweeping. And her young boy came in. He was curious about this sack, so he looked in it and out jumped the pig. He tried to catch the pig, but the pig, it ran right out the door and down the road. 
Now, they heard a sound. <laughs> And he said, where's my pig? The woman said, I'm sorry, but my boy, he didn't, he didn't know about a, a promise and he opened up that sack and the pig ran away. He tried to catch it, but he only has two short legs and you have four fast legs and you can catch it. If you just run down the road, it, it's not very far, I'm sure. Well, said the fox, if your boy let my pig go, I get your boy. He grabbed that boy, put him in the sack, tied up the end, threw it over his shoulder, and went down the road. Something's in my sack. I know it's in my sack. I carry on my back. He kept on walking down the road, and he came to another house. When he knocked at the door, a woman answered it, and there were her two daughters as well. I'm going to my friend Swinton's house. I shan't be gone long. Do you mind if I leave my sack here? No, we don't mind. So he put the sack down. But whatever you do, don't look in my sack. I won't, said the woman. I won't, promised the first daughter. I won't, promised the second daughter. And off went the fox. Something's in my sack. I know it's in my sack. I carry on my back. The mother and her two daughters went back to making cookies. They rolled out the dough, cut out the cookies, and put them on the pan. They put them in the oven. And when the cookies were done, golden brown, they pulled them out of the oven, smelling so good. And the mother said, would you like some milk with your cookies? Yes, please, said the first daughter. Yes, thank you, said the second daughter. And then there was another voice. Can I have some cookies and milk too? Who said that? asked the mother. I did, said the sack. So the mother opened the sack and there was a boy. She gave him some cookies and some milk and while they were sitting at the table, they heard <laughs> Quick, said the mother. She put the boy into the closet and shut the door. She whistled and in came running her dog, a dog about the size of a small boy. She put him in the sack, tied up the end, and when the fox came back, he said, thank you very much for watching my sack. I'll be on my way. He took the sack, threw it over his shoulder, and went down the road. Something's in my sack. I know it's in my sack. I carry on my back. And he kept walking down the road. And he kept walking. He was a ways from home. He started walking through the woods. He was getting tired and he was getting hungry. And so he stopped. And he sat down to rest a moment. And then he thought, just a little snitch of boy. It won't hurt my, it won't hurt me. It, it won't spoil my supper, or just a little pinch. And so he reached his paw inside the sack, just opening it just enough to put his paw in it. Ow, he cried, don't scratch me, little boy. He reached his paw in again. Ow, he cried, don't bite me, little boy. I'll show you. And so he opened up the sack all the way and it was not a boy as he supposed. It was a dog with his teeth bared. Yikes, cried the fox and began to run. He ran as fast as he could. Hoo, hoo, hoo. The dog chased after him, nipping at his tail. Yikes, cried the fox and kept on running faster and faster. And the dog went back home. The little boy went back home. But that fox, he may still be running because nobody ever saw him around there in those parts again. And that's the story of Fox's Sack. Thank you for joining me.